we are making art bats on the Strouch finest drum carter. When we're going to add texture to a carter with high teeth per inch, we want to be very careful because the higher the teeth per inch, the closer the teeth are together. So there's less space for the stuff to live. The purpose of a drum carter is to open up the fibers and remove all the short bits. But when we're making art bats, we want the fibers to be less open and more clumpy and defined. So to achieve that, we're going to bypass putting the fiber through the liquor in, and we're going to put the textured bits directly to the top of the drum. I like to think about my drum as a canvas, and I'm painting my fibers directly to the top. So the first thing I like to do with any kind of carding is put a layer of fiber down it's easier to take the bat off when something is, goes down first that's smooth. So on these carters with a high teeth per inch, you want to make sure that you really open the fiber up well. You don't want to put it on in any sort of clumps. You want to give yourself a nice even coat of fiber across the feed tray and what this will give you is a nice even coat of fiber over the drum. You want to crank slowly, especially with fine fibers. The faster you crank, the more likely it is for the fiber to nap or break. And what you'll find is a beautiful, nice, smooth, even layer of fiber that coats the drum. So when I have textured fiber like locks or bits of sari silk, yarn scraps are really fun. You want to make sure that these are all cut into manageable lengths. I wouldn't go longer than six inches. So with scraps like this, These little bits can go directly on top of the drum and you can use your handy old paintbrush just to smush that down. What you're avoiding is turning the drum and having the liquor in catch this because what that wants to do is pull it out. So what you need to do is trick your drum carter into pretending that that's not there. So you want to keep sh your opening free, this is where you take the bat off the drum. And so if you have strings or other things that don't come apart easily across, it'll be more difficult to take the bat off. So I stick my texture a bit on the top and smush it down. And then I take a bit of smooth fiber and I hook that into the teeth and draft against and what I'm doing is covering those textured bits with fiber so that when I crank the drum carter, the liquor in doesn't catch those texture bits. What it's feeling is the fiber on top, so it doesn't automatically pull that out. And by using the brush, I smooth that down. And so now the texture bits are caught into the bat and not being pulled out. So I can take a little bit more. It's really important with these fine tooth drum carters that you don't force. You always start easy and if it can take that you can add a little bit more and if it can take that you can add a little bit more as opposing to just starting big. So I put that on top and I can take a bit of smoother fibers and I just drag that across and smush it down. You can also do this technique with locks. If you put this through, what it's going to do is open all that up, give you a nice layer of fiber across the drum, but if you want to keep that texture, it's the same as the sari silk and ribbon. You just put that right on top of the drum, smush it down, give yourself a bit of other fiber 
and just cover that up and then brush down and crank. So when you lift your brush, you can see that your smooth fiber has trapped your bits of texture underneath and that's going to stay into the bat and you can keep adding those bits of texture in between your layers of fiber so that when you remove your bat, you'll have something textured and fun to play with.